Like if I see it in the market, I'm going to buy like two. Tuesday, Tuesday 10th October and I am starting a new vlog almost as soon as I ended the last vlog actually if you're wondering why I have pink hair I have a video explaining it please but if you're not and you you've cut off to me welcome 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 if you're a new subscriber I'm so happy to welcome you to the family if you're an old subscriber my OG you know I always love you guys like People are always encouraging me and if you just happen to stumble on this face for the first time please like and please stay please subscribe anyway like i was saying my name is ejimo for a fine victoria and i am a youtuber based in nigeria currently in lagos right now and we're starting this vlog because i want to do a photo shoot first off i want to coil my hair that was like one of the major reasons why I wanted to tint my hair because when I tint, I noticed that when my hair was lighter, like when it was the gold color, and I I like applied coiling cream and whatnot to make the coils pop, it looked so much nice. Like what's that English? But you get what I mean. I'm trying to say that I want to coil my hair like a wash and go method, and um, I decided to pick up my camera and show you guys the products that I actually use. So hold on, let me bring them. So, like I was saying in the other vlog, that whenever I tint my hair, or whenever you dye your hair or do anything to your hair, it's always advised that you try and take extra care of it. So, I already used my shampoo, conditioner. This contains biotin and collagen. Um, I really like that it makes my hair very soft. But then I also applied like a deep conditioner so that like my hair doesn't feel too bristle, like too dry and like easy to just like break. Anyway, that was it for pre-wash. And now for coiling, usually, like I watch YouTube video videos or TikTok videos, but they use a mousse. This is a mousse. Then a gel. This is gel. And a coiling cream. This is my all-time favorite coiling cream. Like, this cream is so good. And it's remaining so small. Like, if I see it in the market, I'm going to buy like two just to stock up. But it is such a very like it's such a beautiful coiling cream i prefer it to this i didn't see this so i just got this one the last time both of them are almost actually finished but you use coiling cream mousse and gel some people don't use all three of them some people use only two so we use only one but like i said watch youtube videos to know how to coil your 4c type hair because my hair is 4c obviously i'm nigerian i think most nigerian girls have 4c type hair not all but most anyway i'm going to go ahead and coil my hair and twist it so that by the time when i want to do the photo shoots i can just unravel it and it will look really really beautiful when we are styling you get anyway i'll see you guys when i'm done um doing the twist i'll show you guys how it looks and that's it i think for right now i'm also thinking of doing zobo i have the ingredients like i got the ingredient like the purple hibiscus the dry purple hibiscus flowers um the ginger the is it flakabi what's the name of that seed and um the other juice powder but i've just been lazy to make it and there's been constant light too that's the funniest thing i want to make it and keep it inside the fridge so it's really cold anyway so i think those are the things that we'll probably get up to in this vlog and maybe do pancakes i've been craving pancakes either pancakes or another cake that will not get burnt like i said reference to the other vlog but i think for right now these are the things that are running in my mind and i'll see you guys later actually bye <laughs>
good morning good morning today is tuesday and yesterday i spoke to you guys when i was doing my hair it was a bit messy because of the product and it was greasy i tried to like capture a few clips of me trying to like curl the hair before twisting it but i don't know if i was able to do that today i want to go and do the actual photo shoot and i already had my baits i've done my skincare as you guys saw and i'm about to start my makeup my clothes are on the bed um let me show you guys so i have this i don't know how i'm going to explain it but hopefully you guys can see me well i have this pink top that my star got for me it's like a a bodycon you know top i want to wear it with a mom jean right with a mom jean for the photo shoot that's option one or option two will be this black mom jean that i'm going to wear with a white sorry excuse me <coughs> i don't know what's in my throat but i'm going to wear with a white um long sleeve shirt so those are the two options that i'm contemplating wearing for the photo shoots i haven't started my makeup i'll soon start it now i've packed up um my jewelry it's like what i'm going to wear in case i don't wear this i'll wear the other one so i packed up alternate jewelries but for the pink outfits there's this cute flurry earring that i got i'm really excited about that so i will see you guys later bye how this was happening and until i was pregnant knew I hope you guys can hear me i'm trying not to shout but i'm done with my makeup i think i really do like it um the white things on my hair will soon disappear they're from my coiling cream i just wanted these particular hairs in front to pop more um i'm about to okay basically i'm wearing this tank top and it's shorts because that's what i want to wear to the photographer's um studio it's not so far from my house at all it's like 15 minutes walk it's even up to 15 minutes let me see 10 okay 10 15 minutes i'm already at the place then i can put on what i want to wear there and that's i can change there right um i'm ready i think we should start going because it's i don't know why it's looking cloudy it rained last night but it's looking cloudy right now but let me start going i have faith to turn out really good i'll see you guys there bye Track suits and red wine Movies for two We'll take off our phones And we'll turn off our shoes We'll play Nintendo Though I always lose Cause you watch the TV While I'm watching you There's not many people I'd honestly say I don't mind losing too But there's nothing Like doing nothing With you
hi guys so i am back um i tried arranging my room as soon as i came back because makeup was everywhere i just wanted to go out and get it done with i really like today's look i feel like my skin work was skinning <laughs> and my blush just made my cheeks so big the photographer was like every time you smile your eye closes and i'm like yes i know <laughs> I was able to get like one or two shots that I actually liked and I didn't want anything that would stress me honestly um other than that um let me take down this makeup I think I'll come back and I want to make Zubo I've been saying that for a while now but I genuinely want to make Zubo I want to see if I can do it today and yeah I'll see you guys hi guys so I am back I've washed my face and everything I told you guys that we're going to be making Zobo today I brought my pots. You should not don't come for my pots. I brought my pots that I want to make zoo in. It's a small batch. Um, there's not much sunlight in my kitchen and there's no light currently, so I feel like it's going to it won't you guys won't see what I'm trying to explain. <laughs> there's nothing serious in making zobo actually. Um, see the one I'm making today is going to be very small. This is dried. Let me see if I can show you guys. So this is dried purple hibiscus. Is it purple hibiscus or purple hibiscus? Please correct me, but um there you go. See it. Uh, yeah. So this is dried purple hibiscus flowers. I just bought like a small derica. You see when they like, stay in the market, they usually sell like the purple hibiscus, they sell cloves. Let me show you guys cloves. I think they also use cloves in making pepper soup. Then you also need ginger. I already grinded my ginger inside. I don't like to put too much because ginger can be quite peppery. And I've used this one. Like I bought a bunch of ginger from the guy. So the one I used, I used just like two and it was hot. So I just knew that I don't want to put too much. I don't want it to be too peppery. If you like pineapples, this is like small pineapple. It was in the fridge earlier on. I'll probably blend the pineapple I meant to say. After boiling the um zobo and the thing is cool then i'll pour the pineapple juice into it do you get and then but that's me fast forwarding sorry let me come back Please. this is jolly juice basically they are like sachets of um flavor rants or sweeteners that you can add to it first step put the purple hibiscus leaves inside your pot with your clothes because this is quite a small batch i don't want to, like i'm just making a small portion like i don't know how many containers but just a small portion i'm putting these and then i'm going to fill it up with water not so much it won't fill the brim of this pot because this is a big pot but it won't fill the brim because i don't want it to be too light in color but at the same time i'm going to put it like in the middle what i'm trying to say basically is that the purple i discussed the cloves and the ginger with water filled midway because this is not such a large amount of purple hibiscus i don't want the water to be too watered down like i don't want it to be see-through you know when you're drinking zobo and the zobo is see-through i don't i don't like that but at the same time i don't want it to be too thick either do you get so i'm going to fill water to the middle not to the top like i said this is a big pot and i'm going to put it on a fire and check on it from time to time the penipo and the jolly juice will be added after the Zobo has boiled and I've filtered it. Do you get? I hope you get. Let's go put it on fire. So my Zobo has boiled. Stop. I'm going to fit it into this other pot. Hi guys. So the Zobo has already boiled over. I think I gave it like 15 minutes. I'm not sure. I didn't really time. I just kind of eyeballed it. But um the Zobo has already boiled over, meaning that it is ready. I offed the gas, I've strained it, that's I filtered out the leaves and I'm allowing it cool. After that, I'll just add the pineapple juice, honestly, inside. I'll also filter the pineapple juice because you know it has those um fibers. Um I'll filter out the pineapple juice and add the you know liquid or uh, the juice into the <laughs> zobo mix and then i will add my flavorant most likely the pineapple one so it goes with like the pineapple taste and then i would put it into like individual containers we have those a lot in the house i put it into individual containers and store it in the fridge yeah bye guys i'll see you guys tomorrow 
so you guys saw me um, make pancakes and I brought out the sobo from the fridge just for effect this oh it tastes so nice oh my god you know when it's cold it tastes even more better but anyway I poured the sobo into my glass cup to to form fancy smashy or what's that word anyway um, I poured the sobo into the container that's what I'm going to have for breakfast sobo with pancakes the recipe I used for the pancakes, I've used it for a while now. Like, it's not my first time using this recipe. But I saw it on TikTok and I was like, I'll definitely download it so I can show you guys without me having to like recreate it for you guys again. You get. I like sweet and savory in my pancake. It is like one of my favorite type of pancakes to eat. So when I saw it all sweet and spicy, if you don't like sweet and spicy at once, I'm not sure you particularly like this, but I really do like it in my pancake. Even in my puff puff, I like it when they dies like pepper and onion in my puff puff. It's a personal preference, please. The only difference was that I added milk into my own when I was making it. Like I added Hollandia milk into my pancake mix because I like milk inside my pancake, but she didn't. Anyway, that's it for the pancake. I'm going to go ahead and eat breakfast. This food is calling my name. It's already like 10 or 11. So no, it should be around 12 right now. Like I woke up in the morning and I don't even know. I started doing other activities. I even started editing the vlog I supposed to go up on Sunday. So yeah, 
i'll see you guys later on bye hi guys hi guys good evening the time is 6 30 already and i just decided that you know what i'm going to end this vlog officially i want you guys to see my face and i don't want to end the vlog just like that i hope that you enjoyed the full video if you did please give this video a thumbs up <laughs> that was a mouthful please give this video a thumbs up please like subscribe and share to your friends if you think that they will like my video if there's anything interesting about me. um what else yeah the pictures came in and let's just say if if you can spare the extra money spare it because um like my sister would say good things no cheap <laughs> okay let me say that the pose or the inspiration behind what i wanted to do i felt like it was quite easy to pull off so i thought like if i go to like my neighborhood uh, photographer he'll be able to do it um I was hoping in the very least that even if his editing was bad that the rough copy would not be so bad like it would be something i could work on the rough were rough like they are rough and even the edited one my face is as yellow as an orange i don't know if i'll be able to use like out of all the pictures both the rough and everything that he sent to me i think it's just one i could possibly use but i don't know who knows maybe i might post that one for my birthday maybe i might not maybe i might go for another photo shoot who knows i at this point i don't know i'm just breathing breezing oh sorry i'm just breezing that's the correct word i'm not taking it to heart i didn't spend so much i really like the makeup though but i'm just at peace at this point anyway i will see you guys next time bye